Hey everyone, so this video is a makeup tutorial on how to get this look here. It was a highly requested look from one of my recent videos, which I will link up here. A lot of you are asking me to recreate this look and do a tutorial for you, so here it is. Hope you guys enjoy, and if you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So the first step, as always, is to apply an eyeshadow base. I'm using NYX HD High Definition Eyeshadow Base. You want to apply that all over the lid and just blend it out with your finger. Next we're going to be applying a wash of colour. I'm using Stila Kitten with a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Apply the colour all over the lid from the inner corner to the outer corner and slightly up into the crease as well. Next this is where it gets smoky. I'm using a Per Minerals Matte Black Eyeshadow and the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. Get the colour onto the end of the brush and starting from the very outer corner work your way in the crease and blend it slightly over the outer part of your lid as well. You will need to darken it up after you pull it out a little bit into the crease so just get some little extra colour on the end of the brush and apply it to the outer corner. Next we want to underline our eyes using the same matte black eyeshadow and I'm using the Accent Brush by Real Techniques. Underline the outer third and then move over to the halfway line, slightly smudging out the colour but not as dark as the outer third. Next getting a brush with nothing on it, just a fluffy brush or a pointed crease brush, soften out all the edges at the top and the bottom just to really blend it out. Using the same brush and a matte white eyeshadow, this one's from Per Minerals, get some on the end of the brush and apply it to your brow bone, just blending those colours out even further. The next step is to apply a pigment or some form of silver shadow. I'm using Max Silver Fog Pigment and the Detailer Brush from Real Techniques. Just apply some mixing medium. If you don't have this, you can just use water with pigments just to really intensify the colour. You only need about a drop. And then mix in enough of the pigment powder to get a good consistency. With the silver, you want to apply it concentrating on the inner corner and blending it out almost to the halfway line across the lid. Also, underline the first inner third of your underline area. Next, just getting the base shadow brush again. Get some of the dry powder just from the lid of the pigment jar is fine, just a little bit on the brush, and blend it over the silver and slightly pull it into the black area. The next step is to line your eyes. So I'm using an Essence eyeliner or a felt tip eyeliner pen just because I find this easy. Starting from the halfway mark, pull out. Just a really thin line as close to the lashes as possible and then work all the way in to the inner corner. Just a really nice thin crisp line. Then we want to apply a white eyeliner. I'm using one from Napoleon, just on the lower waterline. The next step is to curl your lashes because this look really does need some curly lashes. And apply your favorite mascara one or two coats depending on the intensity. This look can pull off a really intense lash though. And then we move on to blush. I'm using a NYX blush in peach with just a stippling brush from Royal and Langnickel. And apply that to your cheeks. And finally is the lips. I'm using a MAC lipstick in cream cup. Just applying that straight from the tube, nothing fancy. <laughs> and just because I wanted to really deepen up that look and give it a bit more colour, I'm using a NYX gloss in beige. It's not really beige, it's more pink, but that's what it's called. So just apply that all over the lip colour and that is it. You're done. So that's it. That's how you get this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm um, also, because I have a feeling some of you are going to ask, 
these are my nails at the moment uh, they start off with a sponge gradient from white to black at the tips and then I use a straw and dip the end of my straw into some polish and blow it over the top to create this kind of marbled effect on the nails which I really really like um, if you are interested in seeing a tutorial on how to get this type of effect please let me know below um, if that's something that interests you and I can make that one for you guys as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like always if you've got any questions or comments please feel free to ask me below and um, if you give this look a go yourself please leave it as a video response I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time bye